global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Global happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. Right now, there's a lot of trouble in APC, and it's not just with the chairmanship position, but even with the way Bola Metinibu is running the show for most APC stakeholders. You know, uh, one of the things that he enjoyed was total support from the Southwest. We can still remember what happened in AKT, that they gave virtually everything to President Bola Metinibu and other southwestern states but right now there's something very interesting that is going on and it has to do with the way i'll use this language with the way uh, the president according to them is dispensing the positions out and it seems as if everything is going to just one particular state and because of that APC stakeholders in the Southwest have to send a letter straight ahead to Bola Metinibu. And you can see the letter here is directed straight to him. And they call it a letter of appeal to President Bola Metinibu, Southwest APC support groups. So they came out and they sent the letter. And I'm going to read the content of the letter. I said, Your Excellency, danger of Legosizing Southwest. We have observed with almost dismay the ongoing unpleasant development at the presidency whereby most appointments are being filed or filled with Lagos boys. We, the Southwest APC support groups, are constrained to say that this trend, if not checked, might make the Southwest the first boiling point of the Tinibu's administration. Interesting. We hereby would wish to call the attention of Your Excellency to this ugly development and to state that a situation whereby politicians from Lagos State are seen to be the ones taking all the benefits that accrue to the entire Southwest is totally unacceptable to other states in the zone, as Lagos is not the only state in Southwest. A cursory look at the appointment made so far under this administration shows that majority of the people around Mr. President are all Lagos politicians. While they may not all be indigents of Lagos, but these are politicians based in Lagos who have played all their politics in Lagos, living in Lagos, and as a matter of fact, made Lagos their immediate constituency. Looking at the appointment of 28 that was recently made by Mr. President, we can categorically pinpoint 18 of them who are Lagos-based politicians. Also, the arrival of former Lagos Governor Akin Wumi Amode into the fry as one of the appointment hopeful is another fact in this direction. Another scenario is Your Excellency's first trip to France as France as president. The entourage that accompanied you on that journey were predominantly those from Lagos State. <laughs> it's interesting, I must say. <laughs> Despite the fact that most of them are without official portfolio or capacity, this is uncalled for. This administration should not be made an all Lagos affair as it will completely go against the campaign promises of national inclusion. Truly, this train does not project Mr. President as a nationalist and a pan -nice. Recently, Your Excellency constituted a committee that will constitute both of ministry, department, and agencies, MDAs. Ironically, the chief of staff, Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amela, was made the chairman while the secretary to the state, to the government of the federation, SGF, Senator George Akome, was made the secretary. This is wrong. Going by hierarchy and order of protocol, Akome's position supersedes that of chief of staff. But Amela is only an aide to President Tinibu, while Akume is the secretary to the government of the Federation, and as such, Akume should head the committee. 
we advocate that for posterity and abhorrence to establish thematic of bureaucracy in governance, your excellency should revise appointment and make the secretary to the government of the federation, the chairman of the committee and a representative of the party as the secretary. Appointing the chief of staff as chairman of that committee is to further take care of Lagos boys. If K is not taken, <laughs> we will end up having a Lagos boys dominated administration at the expense of others which will not be break away from the norms in the last administration where people from a particular state were given more preference at the detriment of others who were far more deserving. While we understand that there is so much pressure on Mr. President, Your Excellency should not fall, fail to or fall to this pressure. We expect Your Excellency to stand his ground and not allow himself to be misled by an or by any unwarranted pressure. Mr. President should be a president for all, and this should reflect in his appointment and as such his appointment should spread across to other states in southwest and nigeria otherwise it will portray the image that lagos state is the only state in the entire region based on performance in the 2023 general election lagos did not live up to its billing as mr president lost the state to opposition party if the party had relied on Lagos State alone for presidential election, the president would have failed going by the results declared. We know the rule other states in Southwest, particularly Ondo Ekiti, or your played in the last election. These states gave the president the best result in the, in the entire state. Politicians from Lagos State should stop demonstrating unnecessary sense of entitlement to these administrations as they contributed nothing to the success of Mr. President and cease from giving him pressure over appointment. We want to categorically state that we are not comfortable with this trend and for the interest of the party and Nigeria in at large, things need to change. If the president fails to correct these abnormally, the political narrative might change come next election. The administration should not be seen as a government of Lagos State and they should also or and they, they alone should not take all the benefits that are meant for the Southwest. Otherwise, other parts of the zone will leave Lagos alone to play the politics and wait for the outcome from the other side. We made this observation in the interest of unity in the Southwest and Niger at large. Thank you. And this was signed by Comrade Dele Fulani who is a coordinator, the secretary, Comrade Lanre Asiwaju. Wow, this is quite interesting, I must say. But, you know, the first thing I noticed in that uh, letter of appeal was the topic being used there. And the person said, Lego sizing, which means uh, that's a new, uh, a new word for Nigerian politics. I don't know where they crafted that one from but from what i saw the i think lego sizing is a system of government at which only apc members from lagos are appointed or let me say or are given appointment at the presidency that is what they mean but apart from that uh, one of the things that i also uh, think that nigeria should take into consideration, though we are expecting that there's going to be a return of the mandate back to Peter Obi, as most Nigerians are prospecting, but we have to also learn from this, because uh, uh, Buhari has set a precedence in the area of appointment, where we see people who are not even capable, but just because of their relationship with the president, they are given so much consideration and that's the same thing that is playing out since it had happened in the days of Buhari it is also being played out now imagine based on what their family discussion is uh, only people in Lagos seems to be enjoying everything so competence is now sidelined for ethnicity and relationship with the president 
yeah as a president you need to bring in people who are whom you are most comfortable with and all of that but competence should play a bigger role we can't be seeing one set of people duplicating um, positions in other words one set of people at uh, getting two to three appointments as if nigeria is a country of just hundred thousand people we have more than three million sorry we have more than 200 million people and let's say in terms of education we have at least up to like a million people who are educated why then should you be centralizing and thinking about lagos state alone this is really really disastrous for our economy and whatever nigerians are doing we need to see how um we can complain more on behalf of these family matters that are bringing abroad to let the president also understand that nigeria is our country it's not only Lagosian that have this country so that at least competence hand can be effectively represented in his government we are tired of what we saw in the last administration it was one of the worst administration and we don't want this one to unseat that previous administration apc it, it, it has fail nigeria a great deal but then since uh, because of how uh, nigerian politics is being played we must not allow them to fail us again by still giving them another chance to rule over us and that's why nigerian at, at, at the point we should think of always going out on the street and letting people understand certain things that are really out of place so that i think he can awaken his consciousness and he will know that things are not right and you know one of the things that allow such a development to take place is when a man is too old to look at details whether we like it or not bola metinibu is too old to look at most details i can assure you that this current administration if we are not careful the person who will be running it is somewhere he may not even have any appointment but he was the one remote controlling everything all what he needs is just to be uh, 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 the loving uh, 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 confidant of the president and we will watch with our eyes how the person is controlling virtually everything because he will be the one to break down everything since his voice suits the president's ear the president will will listen to it even till he sleep and all of that that's why we need younger president these things are life lessons we should learn and i am so grateful that is happening to some of those states that did not think of competence beyond ethnicity it's happening to them i'm so happy the likes of ekiti the likes of Hondo. it's happening to them let them or your state let them understand that at a time like this where a country is those diving where everybody is carrying or, or, or carrying his father's name we shouldn't be playing the politics of ethnicity. If a competence man come on board and everybody is happy, why is it bad? Is it bad? Is, is it a good thing? It's a life lesson, which I believe that if he continues like this, maybe in the next election, if Nigerians are not gotten back, or Peter Obi has not gotten back his mandate, they will know the right person to vote into power. That's where we like to leave it. Let's